Yes. No. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right, guys. So welcome to our team call. Um, it is October 6th. Yes. Tuesday, October 6th. And uh, 2015. Welcome, everybody. We're going to have a special guest as soon as he gets home. I hope he gets on <laughs> Tony. Um, but before we start with Tony, I wanted to just go through some housekeeping. So we have our groups going on right now. Um, I think a whole bunch started yesterday, right? I have my ultimate reset group. Christine, did you get into one of the 21 day fix groups? I did. I think it's the one Diana was. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, good. So that'll be a good one because Diana has run challenge groups since the beginning of time. So you can see two things, you know, two things you can do is obviously do the program and follow her advice. Yes, but I just all, in today, so. Yeah, I saw. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> but also just for your like own um, sake, just go through the group and have an eye like as a customer, but also as, um, I'm sorry, as a challenger, but also as a coach. Uh -huh. So you can like get the feel of how things are done and how Diana runs things. So, um, so that, that's that next week. I think our, our, um, our free challenge group is on the 19th and I think we're going to do dinners because I think people were looking for dinners. So if you guys have dinner options or things that we can start pulling together for the 19th, that would be awesome. I know that Vreni and I spoke about crock pots also. Oh, okay. So you, are, you guys want to do the dinners, we'll do the crock pots, and then next month we can always switch. That's totally fine, because I think you said you wanted to do something related to football, right? We did, yeah. Jody and I kind of dropped the ball on that, but, you know, it's also another, something else we could do. Super Bowl coming I in February. We could do crock pots. I have no problem doing crock yeah. pot dinners. So she has, like, a whole slew of recipes, so, and I'm sure everyone else does, too. Yeah. So do you want to just do crock pot dinners? It's up to, it's up to anyone. <gasps> <Tony! laughs> We're like groupies. <laughs> We're all groupies, please. Hello, ladies. <laughs> all, right. all right, cool. All right, so wait, Tony, hold on. I'm just doing one more thing. So the 19th is our free clean eating challenge. We'll have to decide whether we want to do um, crock pots or regular dinners. And then the 26th, that week, we're going to do our sneak peek Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday again. Um, guys, don't forget about the challenge pack. The challenge packs that are on special right now. It, I posted in our team page. If you guys really figure out what Beachbody is doing, they are setting you up to market Hammer and Chisel. So Hammer and Chisel is a dual program. This is the first time that they've done two different two different trainers in the same program. You've got Sagi who does Body Beast, and you've got Autumn obviously is the 21 day fix they're coming together and they're doing hammer and chisel if you follow a lot of the top coaches a lot of them were pulled into the test groups all their test results were released yeah yesterday so you know everyone's hyping it up so this month what they did was that they put the two trainers pro hats on special so that you can kind of gear up and get everybody hyped for its release okay so that is all I'm going to say right now. Tony is here with us. I'll unmute him in a second. Well, actually, I want to unmute you now, Tony, because I, I, don't know all your, I don't know all your accolades. All I know is that, okay, so to, we have with us Tony Fernandez, who, for those of you that don't know him, he is what I call my godfather. <laughs> he, yeah, I know. I know, I got, I got oh, white hairs. You're like hairs. my grandfather. I don't know, you're like my godfather <laughs> or my grandfather. Don't say um, So my coach, Angie, my upline sponsor, her upline sponsor is Tony, and he is the master of Team Eagle. Yes, I don't know about master. But I yeah. call, like I call you like the behind the scenes like engine that pushes it. Yeah, that's me, right? Right. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's it. So I don't know all your accolades. I don't know what star diamonds you are. I don't know any of that. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I will say myself. So go ahead. So Tony, take it away. I'm going to mute everybody else. Okay. Or I'm going to mute myself at least. All right, so you can hear me good? Yeah, good. Okay, cool. Hello, ladies. How are you today? Good? All right, as you know, my name is Tony Fernandez. I am one, one of the founding coaches of, of Team Ego. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just start with my, my story, right? Each body is all about your story. That's how you are uh, progressing this business, is sharing your story. So don't uh, be afraid to share your story share your story. That's the only way um, you're going to progress. Like, that's how I actually started building my business. But anyway, 
I started in 2009. Um, I was borderline diabetic. I was overweight. I was, <clears throat> I, I always been a slim guy in my younger days. And I gained a lot of weight. I was like 60, 70 pounds overweight. So I was at 255, 260. So one day I was um, in front of my house raking up the leaves. So here I am raking up the leaves. It was like November, you know, cleaning up in front of the house. And then I get this little pinch on my lower back. I'm like, oh, what the heck is that? And that just disabled me for the whole night. I couldn't, I was like an old man. So I went to the doctor the next day and did MRI, did all that good stuff. And ended up being I have a herniated disc. Um, besides that, I had other health issues. I was a uh, borderline diabetic and I was, uh, my cholesterol was like skyrocket. I forgot the numbers, but it was like ridiculous. I it was on um, Lipitor medication, which was like 15, 20 grams a night I had to take. So here I am with these little containers of take, taking these pills every night. I'm like, no, nah, I can't be living like this. So fast forward, my sister, if you guys don't know, Mickey Fernandez, she um, saw the infomercial for P90X. So the first thing that she does is she calls me up, dude, you need to buy this program and start doing it. Cause I'm, I'm a full time, I work full time. I'm a full time dad, maybe um, <clears throat> involved in my kids' lives. So I purchased the P90X and like uh, every brother would do, I put it away in the closet for a couple of months. <laughs> and I just left it in. <laughs> so <clears throat> eventually I was like, you know, I need to, to um, make a change cause um, my, my health was declining. So I took out the P90X, started pushing play, um, when I started, I couldn't even do one pull-up. It was, it was ugly. You know, I, the first workout, uh, I remember was P, uh, back and biceps and no, no chest and chest and back. It was so chest and back 20 minutes into this chest and back workout. I was throwing up 20 minutes. I was like, what the hell? So, cause I used to be a, a gym rat, you know, back in my young days, I used to go to the gym. So that's one of the reasons I was like, damn, just working out at home. I don't know if I could work out to DVDs. But um, I decided to do it. So fast forward 90 days, I, I lost uh, 55 pounds. I went back to the doctor for a follow-up, did all the blood work and all that stuff. And the doctor was like, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Um, they took me off the medications, and which was a big, big milestone for me because I wasn't happy taking those damn medications. So took me off the medications, and then I, I continued with, with, the, with the P90X. I did another round, and then Insanity came out. So... I, like everybody else, um, they signed up for the discount. I was a discount coach back in 2009. So I was, I was a discount, discount coach for, I would say like for two years. Because I, I heard of stories like the, the coaches, you know, progressing the business and they're, they're doing great, you know. But I'm like, ah, that's not me. That's not me. I'm not going to be able to do that. So I was pretty much shutting the, shutting the doors, you know. I was just shutting down i was like nah that's not me that's probably for the girls the girls are do, will do good at, at this that's when my sister came into play <clears throat> so i'm like mickey you need to sign up as a coach i know you're gonna kill this and sure enough look how she's, she's doing great so she started working the business and that's when i was my eyes started opening up i'm like wait a minute you know she's getting a little income so i was like let me give this a, give this a try i've been in aviation all my life i mean i have 20 years in as an aviation technician um so Ever since I was in high school, it was going to, to a job. Right after high school, I would go to work, help out um, at home because uh, my mother was a single mom. My, our dad was a deb deadbeat dad, so he left when we were, we were young. So I thought that was just the way of life. You have to work. You have to work, and w which is, but this business was like an eye-opener for me. Once I started um, treating it, I'm not going to say treating it like a business. I first started treating it like a, like a hobby. So I was showing up more. I was reaching out to more people. Hey, I'm doing this. You should do it with me, whatever. And that's how the team started growing. I started signing up, you know, coaches and stuff like that. And it was myself, Mickey, Saudi, our other sister that lives in Florida, and Saudi's uh, brother. who were like, hey, we should start a team and start, you know, come up with a name. And that's Mickey came up with the Team Eagle name. And um, we just ran with it we was continue continue to show up continue to show up but it got, it got to the girls like as you can see Mickey and, and sorry were progressing they were like, doing great so myself you know as, as a guy i'm like this is for the girls you know i'm gonna continue it 
because I love the programs, I, I love the, the products, but this is for the girls, you know. I work full time and, and I'm used, that's what it is. I have to go to, go, go to my job daily, so. But um, my sister gave me a wake up call. She was like, dude, that's BS, you know, what she told me. She was that's BS, anybody could do this, you know, you know. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna give it a try. And <clears throat> the first year, I started working it like, like a business. I went from a, from a hobby into a business. I started signing, recruiting more people. That first year, I, my income was like 65000 And mind you, I'm, I'm doing it part-time. I'm still doing it part-time. Um, hopefully in the future, well, I, like I told Angela, two and a half years, I should be going full-time. And the reason is for the two and a half years is because I need uh, another two and a half years to retire from um, JetBlue so I can stay with my um, benefits. So, and my family as well. So might as well, you know, go ahead and do that. So, but anyway, so the first year I, it, I was like, I was amazed. I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. So then the, <clears throat> the following year was, which was 2013. I, what I did was I set an hour, like they say the power hour. So I set the hour. So every day I showed up, right? So within an hour, I just worked the business. I sent invites, I did follow-ups. I reached out to my coaches. Um, I reached out to my downline, which is um, trying to build your, your team volume. Which I'm going to talk about that later or about the team volume. And that's what the meat of this business is. It's like one of the key factors is this team volume. But um, I continue showing up, continue showing up and helping the, the team um, <clears throat> progress. Um, so it's crazy because right now we're close to 9,000 coaches in, in our organization. It's, and I mean, we heard stories of other teams blowing up like that. And, and now we're doing it. It's like, you know, if my, no kids over here, right? If my dumbass could do this, anybody can. <laughs> so the key is, is just to show up and then the three body behaviors, just stick to it. Um, personal development, it is freaking key. It's, I can't even stress it anymore. I, um, I was never one to read books. The only books I read was um, aviation technology type stuff. That's, that's my job. I, I love that stuff. It's like, it's just, I love, ever since I was a kid, I used to love taking things apart and fixing it. But, so that's why I was very really into that. I would read books on that. But now with this personal development, it's just like the eye opener. It's like, it's helping me be a better person. It's helping me be a better brother, a better dad, a better husband. Oh, my wife is right here somewhere. But a better husband and, and, and the business is, is helping. So it's, it's just, like I said, show up every day and just stick to it. Um, so now, 2014, 2015, now I'm making six figures and I'm still at, in, in part-time. So doing this part-time and, and making six figures, it's, it's just freaking mind-blowing to me. And I, I, what I told everybody, I thank the man upstairs because he just showed me the doors. And I, I mean, I, you have to show up, you know. He will show you the doors, but you have to step in and, and do the work. So, um, and for men, I mean, I don't have, we don't have any men here, but for men, it's the reason it's a little harder because we're so freaking hard-headed. Speak we, loud, Tony. Ray's listening. Our, oh, Ray, hey, what's up, Ray? <laughs> our <laughs> ego is, is, like, is like ridiculous. I mean, even like when it comes to, to working out, like we would start working out and we throw like tons of weight on the bar just because our ego is like, okay, it's all about the numbers, but it's, it's, it's not. You need to just leave your ego at the door and just show up and, and be teachable. So that's what I did. I was like, all right, let me shut up. Let me just do what the girls tell me to do. You know, of course, with my little twist. Um, I do have like a, a men, we we'll call it a men's group, which is just strictly guys in there. And in there, we don't, I mean, we talk about fitness, you know, the products or whatever, but we really talk about everything, about football, baseball. It's all about just making that connection. And we throw everybody in there, coaches, non-coaches. But what is helping us is, is growing the team because then, they're seeing us, you know, talk about the business. And, and, and one thing for men also is it comes out to, to the money. You know, once they see that income coming in, that's when they with their eyes will be like, okay, wait a minute, let me see this. You know, what are you talking about? So, I mean, it's sad, but that's the way it is. I mean, the, the guy coaches that I have on the team, I spoke to them, spoke to them about, it's about making the money, you know. Yeah, it's about helping people. That's, it's all about that but they want to see some sort of income and that's when they will show up. 
And with the group, with the men's group, they we just showing them how to just like I said before, leave your ego at the door and just just show up and and just do the work. Um, there's no secret to this. There's no secret. Everybody has the same um, back office. Everybody has the same YouTube. There's like tons of videos out there. Um, one thing I could um, recommend to everybody is just go into that back office and just go through every single freaking column, every any way you could click on, click on it and, and see what, what happens. And just the, the trainings in there are amazing. They're always updating the training. So it's good to go back like every couple of months, go back because they're always, make, they're always making changes. And, and just showing up. You know, we have all these events, these amazing events. And events are great because you get to hear other coaches' story and you're going to relate to somebody. You're going to be like, oh, I'm a, I was in that position. And that person is, is progressing. Oh, what can I do? You know, and you, you make that connection and they just, you go for it and just kick ass, you know? Um, what else? Anything else you want me to say, um, senorita? Ooh, hold on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, no, Tony, the only yeah. thing I wanted you to talk about, because you have more yeah. experience in this than we do, okay. um, is, you know, it, to wrap your head around volume. Okay, volume, yes. Yeah, is like sometimes hard because like I'm not a numbers person. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's like, like we were talking about today, like if yeah. I want to make X a week, how do I back into that? You know, and I want people to understand why the volume is so important to, to right. increase the business. So there's obviously a difference between rank, right? Like you can mm -hmm. be a certain rank, but that rank doesn't necessarily mean you're making X amount of dollars. Right. So yeah, it, funny that you said that because I'm right now, or I didn't mention that, I'm a three, three star diamond. And my my income compared to my income right now is like five star six seven star uh, diamond status because the volume is 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 so crazy right now and my strong leg is on a weekly basis is like two hundred thousand pvs and my, the weak leg is like 15 sometimes i hit 20 so that's how my volume is just it's, it's just blowing up so but the key with volume is 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 working with your team working with your whole downline i mean i started approaching it this way and I only had like three coaches but I was working with their coaches you know just helping them and, and I'll tell I spoke to my coach I'm like listen I'm gonna reach out to your coach and just try to help them out you know I just let them know I'm gonna speak to them and for the coaches that um were not working the business for the coaches <clears throat> that were not showing up what happened was when I was working with their coaches it lit a fire under their ass and they're like oh wait a minute now my coaches are showing up and I need to do something so the volume is start, you know, increasing that way too. But um, as far as cycling, um, well, we, everybody knows about the volume. Every product has, has a, a points added to it, like the Shakeology is 90 PVs. Um, challenge packs, it ranges from 150 to like 270, whatever it is. So um, <clears throat> does everybody here know about the cycle, how you cycle? I think most of us do. I think we have one or two new coaches that probably don't okay. understand that yet. But the, uh, we, you know, let's explain it and then we'll I'll explain it. Yeah, I'll explain it real quick. So the cycling is um, when you reach the, the rank of Emerald, reaching the rank of Emerald means you, you have two personal sponsored coaches on, one, on each leg, so one on the left and one on the right. So once those two coaches are active and they're purchasing products or they have customers purchasing products, that volume goes into your bank. So it, it goes like levels deep. Like on my left leg, I have, it goes like to, like somewhere between three, 400 levels deep. But everybody's volume goes up to my, to my leg. So as they're purchasing products, as their customers, purchase, that's the beauty of this business. As everybody's purchasing whatever, it goes into your bank. So what the company does is they'll, they'll remove 300 points, 200 from a strong leg. You're always going to have a strong leg and a weak leg. Sometimes it could be even, but it, it will alternate. Um, so the, they remove 300 volume points. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, confuse everybody, but they take off 200 from the strong one and 100 from the weak one. When they do that, that's one cycle. So if you still have volume left in your bank, it'll, it does it again. And again and again, up to, I believe it's like 98 times a day, it'll cycle or until your weak leg just runs out. So it pauses until the following day. So every time that cycle, you get paid as an Emeralds, $14. As a Ruby, it's $16. And 
and then as a time and above is eighteen dollars. So I mean, you could do the math. You get you cycle twenty times a day. It's eighteen times twenty every day. It's, it, it adds up. So the key, like I said, is to help everybody start building volume. What you're doing is you're gonna build your business and you're helping them build your business. So it's it goes both ways. So everybody's helping each other. That's why this this coaching thing you can't just do it. You cannot do it alone. You need a team to do it. You know. So and that's what we're here for. We help. We're here to help each other out. You know. What else about the volume? Awesome. Um. Yeah. No. The volume at the volume. It there's that um, calculator that somebody posted yesterday, I can't get it to work. But like for us that don't understand numbers, that, that thing is great. I just gotta be able to plug in the numbers into that spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, but it, it, they have videos in the back office. Um, yeah, no, I know how it works. I just like yeah. wanna, I need to like say like, I wanna make a million dollars, how much? You know, like, yeah, so what I, what I do is, is, and I learned this from what's from the girls, is I reverse engineer my, my business. So what I do is, okay, my goal is to hit um, $2,000 a week. Just on the volume. That's just volume. That's not your personal sales. That's not your, you know, your bonus, your bonus, none of that. Just the volume. So in order for me to do 2,000, I already know that I need to hit 20,000 personal volume on my strong leg and 10,000 on, on the weak leg. So that's the goal. So now I know, okay, now I'm, I'm short 10 on the strong and five on the weak. And you work towards that. You start helping your team, team, and you'll see the numbers grow. So once you're getting close to that, then your income is, is going to be there. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's just about helping. The key is really helping the, the, weak, the weak leg. You want to help the weak leg because the strong leg is, 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 is pretty much like the business is, is built for you on that one strong leg. So you have to just concentrate on that weak leg. That's why like when you, for those that don't know, when you <clears throat> reach two star diamond, they, they allow you to open up another business center on, under yourself. So, Right now I have, I have three. So I have 21, 22, and then my wife's bossy. So what I did was with the second one, I put that one under my weak leg. And I'm working that business, which in turn is going to help my wife um, cycle with more volume. And it's going to help my main one cycle with more volume. So it's like double dipping. You get paid twice for it. So the key is, that, like I said, it just stay with the, with the weak leg. Start, <clears throat> work with the weak leg. But that's when you reach the bank of uh of, of diamonds you want to even it out you want to have for diamond you need you know <clears throat> four coaches on each side <clears throat> and more on each but i tell everybody you want to <clears throat> sorry you want to have five just in case you know you have an inactive coach mm -hmm. so you want to have five on each just you know to keep that, that, that status once you reach that then you anybody you, you sign up any future coaches you throw them on the weak leg just throw them underneath underneath that weak leg because that strong leg is going to be built by your team, by your upline, that's going to keep on signing up people under you. So once you get that diamond, you just concentrate on that, on that weak leg. And that's how you generate the volume faster. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. I'm going to unmute everybody, see if anybody has um, questions. I know the, the, oh God, hold on. What did I just do? Oh, look it. They're doing it tonight. Come on, guess what? They're doing it tonight. Mom, they're doing it tonight. The Eclipse. Oh, they are too. They're going to leave Eclipse. They aren't. Shh. <laughs> No. All right, there we go. So I know that some of that volume stuff really, I, I don't want to say it doesn't apply to us, but it does. It, it does. It, it, it totally does. But what I want you guys to understand is that going forward, right? Because all of a sudden, like you're sitting there, you're sitting there, you're sitting there, and then all of a sudden your business explodes, right, Tony? Like it's like almost like you're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting, and then you put in the work and then it explodes. Yeah, it's like a flick of the switch. It just, boom, I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. Right. So I want you guys to kind of be prepared for what, you know, what you need to do on, on placing your coaches too. I mean, that's a whole nother call, but placing your coaches, if you've got a strong leg, then you've got to place your coaches on your weak leg. And that's how it all comes together. So any questions for Tony? Most of you are unmuted except Dodie. 
<laughs> anything even outside of um of like volume or anything you've got basically the founder of team eagle right here so you can ask him anything you want anything okay. <laughs> anybody nobody come on somebody's got him a question all right i have a question Tony. go ahead what do you see and I, I know the answer but i'm just curious mm -hmm. your your highest like obviously we know mickey and saudi are top performers they're amazing right right other than them <laughs> your other strong coaches in the organization that you personally know what is like the one thing that they all have in common that makes them super successful um one thing they have in all in common is that they first off they're all humble right they um they're teachable and they stay consistent with the three value behavior three value behaviors and they show up they show up and we have we have audrey audrey's another one i love audrey um ivy she's doing amazing as well yep. um but all these girls are just what started help what changed their, their business was they they started sharing the story yeah so like i said before don't be afraid of sharing your story because you never know how your story is going to impact somebody um i don't really <clears throat> share my story i just pretty much the, the coaching part but like my story is you know I was raised by a single mom. My dad was, was a deadbeat. And he, unfortunately, he passed away, right? And but be, when he did pass away, like, I never, never forgave him, you know? Yeah. That was something that was, I was holding in. And I needed, my, like, my sister, you know, my sister is very religious. She goes, she had told me, and even the, the pastor at my church was like, you need to let it go. You need to just to forgive him because that's what's holding you down. And in this, in this whole, it holds you down, not just, you know, in, in your business, in, in everything in life, in your family. And so I had to learn. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to say 100%. I'm good with it, but I'm getting there. But ever since, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to forgive him and, and move on. That's just like release something off my, off my shoulders. And ever since then, it's like I've been like learning so much more. I've been more active, and it's, it's been amazing. So... You know, sharing your story is, is key. I mean, I've spoken to, to like other other coaches and pretty much I'm trying to get more men in, in, involved. So there are a lot of men out there that went through the same situation as me. You know, um, for example, I never played sports. That's why I'm so close to my kids. My kids are into sports and I'm reliving my youth is, is through them. But um, I just... Like I said, I share the story, and then I, there's a lot of guys that connect with me. They're like, "Wow, I, I went through the same thing. The mother effer never was there, and and it's crazy because this he left when I was about like eight, nine years old. He left the house, and he raised another family. Um, and here I am in my forty, and now is when I'm, you know, forgiving him. You know, right. I'm. I am the man I am with my family and, and because of what he did, you know, it's sad to say, but that's, that's just, you know, but I'm sharing it. I'm, I'm sharing my story and, and that's, it helps big time. So that's one thing I, I could say is, is don't be writing, write down your story. I, I know my sister stresses this a lot, write down your story, put it on, on paper, whatever, and just share it with your team, man. And don't, don't be afraid because you're going to impact somebody, you know, you're gonna impact somebody's life and just changing somebody one person's life is, is all worth it I'm so glad you said that because we were actually talking about it today in our team page like mm -hmm. with some of us are, you know some of our coaches are afraid to post or afraid to share and you know I'm still like there's still things about my story that I'm not like there yet like to get yeah. out and so I'm doing like little drips and drabs and then eventually when I'm where I want to in my head where I want to be, it's all going to come out. Like now I'm doing like the little breadcrumb, but that's a, that's a start. Right? That's a start. It's a start. It's a definitely yeah. a start. But I stressed today that if we don't get out of our comfort zone, we don't tell our stories or post or try, you know, to relate to not even try to relate to somebody, but just be you and, mm -hmm. and, and share who you are and what struggles you've been through and how you have overcome or like what you're going through, there is somebody that you are going to touch. You're not going to touch everybody. No one, you know, no. I, don't, 
I, I, don't, I don't relate to your story because that's not my story. That, that did not happen in my life. So I can't understand that. But that doesn't mean the person sitting next to you doesn't totally connect with you and understand. You know, I mean, every story is different. And that's how we attract people to us. We attract people to us because they're like, oh, my God, I'm, I, you're just like me. Like, I totally yeah. get it. Like, tell me how you got through this. You know, and that's, mm -hmm. you know, the question today was like, where do I find these people? And it's, you find them by being a friend to them, really. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and I, I said it at Super Saturday. Saudi always says it. Your sister says it too. The, the entree to helping them really change their life inside is a stupid challenge pack. Yeah. You know, which, listen, it, I, love the, I love the products and that, and, but there's so much more. So you've got, so to, much more. Mm -hmm. you've got to continue to share your story. You've got to continue to share, you know, you don't have to spew it all out on Facebook or Instagram in one shot, but you mm -hmm. can, you know, place little things here and there that people say like, Oh, okay. Like I get that. Like I get that. I totally get that. And, and I want to know more. And what is she doing? And how does she do it? Yeah. And um, for those that don't know where to start with your story, it could just start like for me. And when I was a little kid, but, I didn't know it started back then. I'm like, damn, where do I start? I was working with uh, Beach Beachbody. When you get to two star diamond above, they assign somebody to you to help you, you know, progress in, in the business. So they had told me was like, just start writing down when you, you when you were a kid. Go back to as far as you want, and just start writing your life. Start writing your life. And it took me like oh, a week. You know, I was writing down, writing down, and then the the main thing that was sticking out was what my dad did, did to us. And as I go along as a teenager, it, all, it kept on reflecting right back to when I was a kid. You know, he left on when I was eight, nine years old. So here I am in high school, teenager, and I'm right down, okay, I went to aviation high school. I didn't get to play sports because I had to work after, after school. I had to get a part-time job to help my moms at home. So, Went back to, to my dad. Then here I go, um, in, in college. I'm in college, I'm still working. Um, I didn't get to travel a lot. I like, wanted to travel, but I, I couldn't. But that all went, went back to, I mean, I'm gonna tell you guys one thing what, what this man did. He was, he was a, a gambler. That's like one of the main reasons my mom was like, get out of here. He gambled the house and he lost the house. Mm. So he, my mother's an immigrant from the Dominican Republic and here she is working in a factory that she, she had to bring work home Bless you. To, to make ends meet, to put food on our table. You know, we never had the, the coolest sneakers. We never had anything like that. Because it was, it was impossible. I mean, she had to pay back the man that he lost the house to. She had to pay him all over again. Like the house was, was almost paid off, but here she goes doing it all over again because what, what he did. And like stuff like that is, is why, it's, it's my story because any point in my life, it, was, it always goes back to that. I miss so much in my life because this man just fucked it up for the whole family, you know? So, like I said, that's my, my story. And I try to reach out to other men in, in the same type of situation, um, to even single moms who, like, you know, just trying to show them this, this, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is, you know, there is hope. You know, don't give up. Just, just continue showing up, you know? Thank you so much for sharing all that, Tony. I appreciate it. You're welcome. No, it's, it, it, I didn't know that about you. So see now, yeah. I, I know more. <laughs> but I'm, I, I had, I'm gonna, that my story actually, I have it on my old computer, but I'm gonna do another video and just revisit it and just put it on YouTube because a lot of team members, I mean, because the team is going so much, like I shared this a while ago, but it's still so many new team members, you know, I should be still sharing it, you know. I'm, I'm being a holdbacker, like Mickey says. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a holdbacker. Yeah, don't be a holdbacker. Diana, do you, I'm going to unmute you. Do you have any, I know you like stepped away for a second. Do you have any questions? Oh, there's so many. No, um, hmm. my, my question's are more of a personal thing about like leadership, not about volume. Mm -hmm. but that's a different, I guess, conversation. No, go for it. We told, we go. told, I told Tony he had to answer anything we asked. No, I mean, it's really, it's really not. I just, I have, like you said, you're, you're, a, you're a holder backer. Um, excuse me as I rub my nose. Um, I feel like I'm doing the same thing towards my team. I have to like provide something to make them grow. You know, they're there. Now I have to try to bring my coaches to emeralds and my emeralds to diamond. 
I just don't know. I don't know how. And I think it's just I have to revisit all my personal training, my, my uh, personal development, really, and just look deeper inside me and bring it out in them. But if you could have, if you have any advice for me, please, or anyone else for that matter. Yeah, I mean, it all starts with you, girl. It all starts with you. You know, yeah. like you said, you're holding back. So, um, and I was in the, in the same situation before I, I wrote my story. So, but ever since I wrote my story and I had my coaches do the same, I was like, let's do this together. You know, help me, help me with this and let's just do it together. So they started writing their story as well. And they're like, oh shit, man, this, this, is, this is why, you know, I'm showing up, why I need to show up, you know? So, and one key thing is just to stay um, connected with them. Right. Either, either, either by mail or by texting. Even like you're saying, hello, how are you, how you doing? What's, what's going on? How you been? Whatever. Right. You know, for the, those that you have not um, reached out to. And just be blunt. I'm like, listen, I have a new coach basis coming up. Let's do this. You know, like, just ask for what you want. Don't be afraid. You know? Right. Because could, you could have, I, I had coaches that were waiting, for me, they were waiting for me to reach out to them. They were afraid to approach me, but, but they were just waiting. And some of those coaches were like key players in the team now. And it's like, shit, if I if I'd held back anymore, they probably would have been lost in, you know, in the universe somewhere. Right, right. <laughs> so just, Thank just, you. just reach out to them, girl. Just reach out to them. Okay. You know? And if, yeah. I, I told everybody, you need our help. We're here. You know, we're here to help each other out. So if you have any male coaches, send them my way. I will. I just signed up a, a male coach, so I'm, he's brand spanking new, so I'll definitely mm -hmm. so talk I, to out to you. It, I'm not sure if you heard. I, I do have a, a male group, so it'd be, I could just add them in there. You know, they, the guys are posting there every day. It's amazing how these guys are posting, because we talk, like I said, we talk about everything. Okay. You know, right now, they're probably talking about the game, the playoff game right now, but, <laughs> but that, that breaks the ice right there, because they, 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 they just talk about this, they start posting, and by like, see these stupid stuff, you know. Right. By um, the way, what's the score of the Yankee game? I don't know. I'm, I'm missing it right now. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, you're missing a game for us. Tony, can you add Ray yes. to that group? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. And probably oh. Mike too. Let's just make yeah, a list yeah. for Tony and tell them yeah, to. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. I got your back, girls, you know. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. All right, awesome. Thank you, Tony. Thank you're you. welcome. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. FYI, it's do nothing, Astros. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks. Sorry, yeah, I'm a yeah. bad fan. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thanks, Leah. <laughs> okay, let's, That's uh, you why know what? I have my screen off because I'm watching the game. <laughs> aren't you? A, aren't you a Met fan? Oh no! God, okay. bite your oh. tongue, girl. Sorry. You could still be on my team. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so since we're down two, we can still keep on talking. So, any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> hey, might as well, you know. <laughs> oh my God! I have, okay, I have a question, right? So, mm -hmm. because I'm I'm thinking big, really big. How the hell okay. do you guys manage, or no, like, how do you manage a team of nine thousand people? It's it's not easy, right? Yeah. But, but as, you, as you can see, we have all these, these leaders that we have, uh, all the two star diamonds above. Like when we have these events, we um, delegate, like you take care of this, you take care of the table, you take care, you know, of the signing process. So we just, we spread the love. Yeah. But they all have but, their own teams, like their own pages. Is that what they do or is they just all generate to Team Eagle? Well, a lot of, a lot of well, if you see like the, all the diamonds, they have their own page. Everybody has their own page. But there are a lot of team members that, that don't because they're upline. Uh, they don't show up. You know. right. I'm, actually, my, my upline is, is a, a MIA, you know. And <clears throat> for who those is your that upline? Know, you see that? You see that? You don't know who it is? I don't. Hold on. Let me go to my back office and see who his name is again. <laughs> <laughs> you don't either. <laughs> his name, his, he's, he's in the group, actually, because my sister, being nice, add him to the Team Eagle group. Uh -huh. But his name is Mike Meads. Okay. He's from um, Alabama. Oh. Um, Come on. <laughs> Is he still active and cycling off of you? Yes, he is. I'm the Team Eagles. Oof, that dude's oh. making money. He's making money. He's, yeah. he's actually now, nah, he, actually, he texted me today. He's getting back into the, into the game. He's a real nice guy, whatever, but um, he was MIA for a while. So, I mean, but that, I, didn't, I was like, okay, it, 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 I'm going to let this guy determine my future. Hell no. I want to work this bitch. So, I'm like, whatever. Uh, you know, thanks for the for the for the chance to be a coach. And I, I met the dude actually was through um, damn, this is sad, bro. There was no Facebook when we started this, right? Was it Facebook? MySpace. MySpace. I didn't even use MySpace. But anyway, 
It was the, the beach party bo uh, message boards. That's why I met him through that. It was. Okay. And um, the one thing that clicked with me, I clicked with him was because he's, he, he's a, a man of God, whether, you know, whatever. I could say I'm not 100%, but I'm trying. <laughs> but there was a connection there. So now I was like, you know what? I'm going to have him. I'm going to sign up under him, whatever, you know. And his coach was very involved too as well, but then he left the company. But, you know, but the whole team ego is placed on his inside leg, so we get zero support mm -hmm. you know, from, from our upline. So it's, it's just myself and, and, and all you guys, everybody else. That's it. We don't, we don't get anything from our upline. Got it. But um, that didn't stop us, and we just continue showing up. You know? Like, I forgot who, who mentioned this. Um, was it Eric Woolley? He has said, um, he goes, reach out to your upline, tell him thank you for the opportunity. Yes. But I got this. Yes. Well, yep. I think it was him, right? Some, something into that effect he had. Yep. I'm like, holy shit. Was it GoPro? It was, I think GoPro. it was GoPro. Right? GoPro. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that you, right, that he said something like, the only thing mm -hmm. that you owe your upline or that your upline owes you or whatever the heck, you just say thank you for, for opening the opportunity, yeah. giving me the opportunity. I got this. <laughs> when I was reading the GoPro, I was like, oh shit. So I went to Mike Means and I sent him the same shit. I was sending him a thank you for the opportunity, but I got this. Peace out. <laughs> bye bye. Peace out. Oh no. But Lindsay, it's, it's, it's Lindsay Matway too, right? Lindsay Matway, who was Lindsay top, Matway too. How many? Lindsay Matway was top coach. What three years? Two years in a row. Two years. Two years in a row. She was placed on an inside leg, which means like if mm -hmm. you, for you guys that don't understand, so basically there's a person on top. You have two legs, and then she was placed on this leg here inside. So no one is being placed under her, and she had absolutely no upline. I think her upline quit, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. Her upline quit. And she did it all by herself. And all, she, all by herself. Yeah. yeah, she's got an organization of what, 45,000? 45, yeah, something like that. Something like same, that. Yeah, same thing with um, Bobby Deck or Bobby Kalev. Yeah. Same thing. Her upline doesn't. And we met Barbie. Um, this was in 2000, the winter of 2009. Tony Hoyne had a, he used, he used to do this um, fitness camps. It was like a three-day event that he did. It wasn't beach party related. It was just him. And I saw it online. I work for the airline, so we, you know, we fly for free, whatever. So I told my sister, you know, he, he was in Arizona. So I was like, you, you want to go? We, we, you know, we're going to get to work out with Tony Horton. I mean, we had, we had no idea about the business, but we just went to work out with Tony Horton. And it was a small group. It was a group of, like, of 150 people. So we had, like, we had lunch with him. We had dinner with him. And that's where we met um, Barbie and uh, Tracy Morrow. I love Tracy Morrow. That's where we, where we met, met them. And ever since that day one, they, like, they took us in like, like family. And like, to this day, we're still connected. And Bobby really connected with, with Mickey. Yeah. When we started um, with doing our own trainings, all those training documents were from Bobby Decker. She was like, here, use this, use this. She was helping us out. Wow. She, benefit, she didn't benefit at all because she was a totally different team. Right. But she still you know, helped us out. And look what she's at now. So it's like you just help everybody because it comes back to you. It does. Absolutely. Yeah, it does. It does. Mm -hmm. and I think Christine said it. Christine's one of my newest coaches. She was like, I can't believe you people share everything. I'm like, we share it all. Every, everything, yeah. <laughs> everything. You want a five-day cleaning challenge? I got that. You, got, you yeah. want me to do uh, whatever you got, want? I got. We'll, we'll, we'll get it from somewhere. Yep. So the only difference I would say between the men and the women it's nada. The men just need to leave the ego in the door and just show up the same way the women do. And that's it. There's no difference. Like I said, we all have the same um, source. We have all the same training, all that same everything. So there's no secret source. It's just showing up, you know, showing up. Awesome. Got it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Before everybody goes, don't forget, wherever you are, find yourself a Super Saturday. I'll be there. Okay. I, 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 I'll be at St. Martin. Oh, we'll find one there. <laughs> That's right. Make awesome. your own, Joe Cody. All right, I will. That's right. Your own <laughs> Super Saturday in St. Martin. Super Saturday only for coaches? Or can you bring No. Out? The whole point of Super Saturday is mm -hmm. so that you can bring friends to show them the whole deal okay 
And Christine, the one near you, so Christine is in Phoenix. Carl's going to the one in Phoenix. Yep, it's on the 17th. So I think um, I already saw postings on it on the Facebook page for it. Okay, good. Get there because he's awesome. He will fire you up and like no one does. Yeah, yeah he um, does. So yeah, get to us on Saturday. If I'm not moving that weekend, I will be there. Is anyone else from our team going right here? Do you know? Besides me? I, Laura, I think, uh, bought a ticket. Yeah, so, uh, All right, well, we will see Tony there. Yes, we will. I'll be there. I'll be there. You know, like you said, the Super Saturday is like, for anybody. Um, we had a, a barbecue back, you know, back in the days, whatever, and a barbecue just for the team. But it was for the team, coaches, but what I told everybody was, like, invite any prospects, and invite anybody that you know you want to do the business, whatever. And that's how Angie came to our house for, to, the, to the barbecue. And that's how I, I met Angie. And that's how she, she's like, you know, I like this, whatever. And she, that, that same night, she went home and she signed up. Boom. That's great. Also, so fun. Invite, invite everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and then I met, I mean, I don't know if any, most of these girls know the story, but I met Angie totally random at a Shaleen Johnson event in California that I went to because I wanted to learn how to open my health coaching business. Wow, look at that. Not a beach body business, a health coaching business. And I was like, these people are really happy. Like, who are they? <laughs> <laughs> and Angie, and I, it was so funny because Angie and I had only like passed, like we had only like spoken for like a couple of minutes and I ended up having dinner with like other people and, and believe it or not, other beach body coaches. And no one, I don't know, like there was just something about her that she was like, she was not pushy. She was kind of what she's from the Bronx. So like we clicked right away and she was like, I don't understand. You're trying to like open a health coaching business. Like, what are you doing? Like, I, like, I have one. And I was like, Oh really? <laughs> but I said no to her for almost two months. So just circle back people because sometimes you're just not in the right space. And then, you know, you know, you don't be annoying, but listen, my sister Mickey told me no for a whole year. I took a year, a year, a year? one year. Oh, yeah. Every month I was like, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> I had the, I, the laptop open. I was like, right here. Give me your, your social number. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Diana said no for what? Two months? Yeah. She's like, I hate Shakeology. I'm like, please just drink it. I will force it down your throat. <laughs> just drink the damn thing. <laughs> hold your nose. <laughs> I'm like, I'll hold your nose for you and just drink it. <laughs> She's like, I have no clue what I'm doing, but we could do it together. <laughs> oh, great. That's exactly what I said. Right. Look at us now. <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> oh my god all right ladies and gents all right ladies thank you so much tony we appreciate it anytime go i'll come back and confuse you guys again okay anytime. Anytime. <laughs> all right bye good bye, night everyone bye. Good, night. good night thanks for showing up guys thank you